Last time on Ope Legends of Raspia. Apprehensive of the consequences of a Torian takeover in Kaltaria, our heroes Fobert Dongodare, Zan Hazard Hawthorne, and Squeak the Adult beat feet out of town, but not before implementing a jailbreak as a distraction. What dangers lurk in the arid knots? What path will our heroes choose? Am I wearing pants? Find out this week on Ope Legends of Raspia. Keep talking, <laughs> fuck all you fucking want. Game over. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Start of the episode, and it's done. Uh, I'm going to feed some biscuits to my uh, cal- my, my uh, fluffy and tronk. That's what I'm going to do for my turn. I'm going to tell them that they are the prettiest. That will take one action each to give you a treat. To I'm cool with dodge. that. Handsome. So, that brings us to Faubert and... Oh, Oh, squeak the adults. Not a confusing name. Or not a confusing story between these brothers. Um, all right. So what? So what's what's our plan? You're just you're just gonna uh, Zen Hazard. You're just gonna let the Historians come in and stomp all over your territory, and we're just gonna, you know, let them take it from you. Well, gonna- I mean, here's the thing about all the things that you just said to try and get me all riled up. Firstly, all the Hawthorns at some point, time or another have decided it's a good idea to like leave that city. They didn't come back. Only one of them comes back. That's Jay Hawthorn. He only does it because he messes his cat, which he is really allergic to. So I don't know why he has a cat. So I'm sick of watching his cat. I never got my thing. I want to go on an adventure. So I don't really need to stay in that terrible city. Let's be honest, it's kind of horrible. I mean, it's pretty terrible. And also, I don't know, I'm not a follower. If there's anything my daddy used to always say, it's that I am not a follower and I am not a cactus. The second one was very specific and I think I might be part cactus. So, I'm not gonna two facts about me, I'm out. <laughs> you had a big impact on her as a person. That Those words resonated deeply within it. The cactus part, of course. Right. Um, yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, just just you and me here on our lizards riding through the desert. Are you all right, buddy? Are you okay? Absolutely not. I am not all right. Nothing is okay, and I am making this good for me. So yeah, eventually I'll go back and take over that city. But right now there's a sandstorm, and I want to go hang out in a desert. I guess. Yeah. Out. That's usually where I go when I'm upset. Everything's I fine. Noticed. You're drinking out of a not breakable cup. Uh, that's fine. That's, that's character growth. Yeah, no, that's actually depression, but it's fine. You'll know she feels better when she's shattering things, which right. is to say, uh, how would we like to use our actions? I'm just here for I don't know. flavor. Right. Well, um, you know, it's also worth noting that um, we didn't necessarily prepare for a trans desert uh you know commute um so there's that aspect as well one tight said it's going to be fine as long as we head west towards the mountains on the two track i've done i think most of those things squeak the adult how do you feel about this desert thing i i forgot how much i love riding rufus so i'm pretty much just staring into that this is great I severely care about Rufus. Man, I apparently missed you. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty awesome. He has no problems. <laughs> That's some curious phrasing. <laughs> I apparently missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told. <laughs> That's a uh, people sound when they talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and as is this too. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, I say we do a perception test, and you guys can each bank an advantage. On your sheet, you will see it is banked. Since not everyone got to use their full actions, let's just go ahead and throw those in there. Those can be used for advantage later. <laughs> Nine. Eighteen. Three. I'm just going to show the world again, man. The world needs to know. It's another one of dough. Woo! It's not one of those. It's another one, which is to say, definitely not a success on my part. If a 20 is a guaranteed yes, then a one is a guaranteed not yes. And so, as you guys are continuing down, Thumb has described to you that there was a plan put in place by Wami Tates of all people. 
I don't know. And so Wami, who doesn't seem like much of a planner, though he is a hell of a composer when it comes to uh, the old piano. Um, is uh, yeah. Never mind. You barely met him. <laughs> um, you guys can continue on forth. However, you are headed the same direction that you did the. Uh, what did we call it? The Bugle Finger Cave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys are headed that direction. If you wish to veer off, you can go to the Bugle Finger Cave. Oh, no, Lady Bugle Fingers. No, we'll follow Wami's plan and head west. I, I trust Wami with my life. That makes sense. It's a smart move. If something is under by it, just trust. Right. Yeah. I don't know how we're hearing each other. The desert wind and the rising and this bird that's squawking as it runs and all of your lizard feet beating against the sand. It's quite clamorous. Anyway, we're going to keep following the trail. We'll do another perception roll, shall we? Three. Um, that's going to be a 19. Handsome. Seven. Yes. <laughs> so... You guys see this interaction before it sees you. But you notice that there are some questionable types out on the road. They've got bandanas up over their over their faces and one of them's carrying a fire. A what? Um, yes, they are carrying a splintarium carbine. Um, just to say a high caliber Ranged weapon. Yes, ranged weapon, which is used, just uses powder. That being said, there are three bandits, one of which has a Spintarian carbine, and they don't appear to be having fun there. Open table, a matter of time before you arrive. During the next world's turn, you will be at them or they will come to see you. How do you react? Um, I'm going to use a static called, I believe, Weaponeer, which allows me to gain plus 20 attack. Very well. Charging up for the battle to come. Very smart. That happened. I am going to take a breath. How much does take a breath give me back again? Sorry. It's going to be 10 of your skill pools. I will take two breaths. Awesome. Um, I'm going to also take two breaths. Handsome. It's good to stay oxygenated when stressful situations are um, uh, 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 presenting themselves. Nailed it. So we're going to, has everyone used their actions? I'll take a breath for my second one. Very well. Go ahead and roll a perception. 17. Three. Five. Wait. Six. Well, oh, dang! I was going to see you guys come on out here. We got sweet kicks, sweet eating out old sand hazard and dishwasher. Also, the big beard guy, I don't recognize your name. Uh, hey, how you, y'all, y'all are being robbed. Nah. It's the enthusiastic highway person. I've heard stories about uh, them. I don't know if it's him or her or if that's better than all the same one time. It's very polite of you, fam. Um, get fucked! You can shove that carbine up your own arse. Well, shubble a dag about. Let me just tell you right now, I don't like to hear that when I'm arriving some folks. So, influence test to see if I'm gonna let you on by. <clears throat> Looking at my character sheet. I mean, as long as you don't take my Kaltara, you can rob me. I don't care. I don't have anything of value. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the saddest things I've ever heard. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't intend to let you rob me. Look, we got a revolution. We're trying to fund here, trying to take down old Torius coming down here, and you guys look like a bunch of Torian supporters. <laughs> Hand over your goods, and we're gonna go use them to take down the nation that is you love so much, keeping people under their big boots. Well, that is a lot of assumptions. Well, hold on just a moment. It seems like that we're actually playing on the same team. In the sense that I'm robbing you, or you're gonna give me stuff? In the sense that Victoria. Influence test, I like the way you're talking. 
Not the way I'm talking, though. That is strenuous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you let your buddy talk instead. I'm sure he sounds much less no, ridiculous. Everyone else here can't talk. I'm the only <laughs> one. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Could not hit. I'm going to use Debonair Bastard three times. Full Bear Dongo Dare the Debonair Bastard. All right. That's going to bring me to 24 for my influence. 17. Boltoria, huh? Oh, well, it's the stupid new Boltoria <laughs> D. So I tell you what. Is this one on board? Cause she's the sheriff. She done arrested me several times before for public intoxication and robbing. Black a bird. You are asking me if I'm on board? No, he said bird. <laughs> right. Fantastic. This I love this team. I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm a sheriff. Just please you and me. It's just you and me out here. Are you okay, sheriff? <laughs> No. No, oh, I'm not. Man. Look at that glass. It's so unbreakable. She's clearly not okay. You guys are just out here riding through the desert. <laughs> She's drinking out of an unbreakable mug. Well, we got to have to sit down over a nice campfire. I'm going to sing you some songs. going to bring your heart right back up. So here I go, starting off right now. A little bit of a and uh, he starts going into his song. And uh, we will go into your final open table as he continues to sing. And it is a matter of time before we must, unfortunately, bring this story arc to a close. Which is to say, you guys have found allies that are willing to go back to Kaltaria and rally, if indeed you should want to do so. Otherwise, you didn't get robbed. That's pretty cool, too. It's pretty tight. But as far as I'm concerned, we should definitely prevent Tori from taking Kaltaria. I know what I said before, that it's a dirt place with dirt everywhere, but... He's right about that part. I mean, yeah. physically speaking, there's dirt Archival. everywhere. Mm-hmm. I was around back when uh, back when they tried to send the Jir whores to take it, and well, let's just say trying to fight Tori against... Uh, uh, Kaltaria against Tori is just a good time. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a little... Uh, Sorry, that was just a callback to something that probably didn't make the cut anyway. Uh, excuse me, would you? Uh-huh. Anyway, that's my time. You guys <laughs> want to have your closing catchphrase? I feel like I've made my impact. I feel like I made my too. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't have any interest in making an impact if that's what it looks like. <laughs> uh-huh. So with those impacts having been made, what are your conclusionary moves? Do you continue down the trail toward freedom and escapism and all kinds of other things? Or do you go back and liberate your home from the oppressors that have been hunting people for the blood in their veins, keeping people under their almost literal boot for several hundreds of reps? Do you combat the powers that be or go scooting on into the mountains. I don't like mountains. I mean, that's my only issue. I mean, I'm all for like adventure, get to have my Hawthorne time, but like, eh, don't like mountains. Yeah. Don't make my ears pop. I'll be honest, Hawthorne time is overrated too. I didn't want to say so before, but it just, it, it's overrated. What is your decision, Squeak the Adult? Zan Hazard and Faubert Don Dare. Do you flip a Yui or do you fly on through it? Roll on through it. Almost failed. Um, let's flip the Yui. He's got dishes to wash. I've got dishes to wash. And I've got a grandpappy who loves me, I think. Is that, you didn't, I don't know. Did here, here. <laughs> he told me he doesn't love you. Well, that's rude. Okay. He said he loved you. He said he loved you. Also, I mean, one of his heads said he loved you, but he has two heads now. So I don't know how the other one feels. It could, I mean, one of them definitely does, in fact, love you. Also, I will do whatever Squeak the Adult does because I don't trust Bo Bears. He got, Bobo got put in jail 
So I'm not doing what he wants to do, but I will follow what Squeak the adult thinks is a good idea. Also, fun. Yeah, not for nothing, he also got, you know, put in jail because getting caught consisted of running directly up to the sheriff. <laughs> so, yeah. not, not for no offense, Faux Bear Doggo Dare, you wash a mean dish. You just fugitive wise, I would also follow the lead of my brother, who's great at escaping his home. Yeah, I yeah. am. Things. We're gonna unfold that at some point. Definitely yeah. on camera, though, for sure. Hey, brother, there's long. a way. I, there, there's a reason I came back. All right, that's what I'll say about that. You That'll right. be my closer. Ah! And what was uh, what is your closer, Zan Hazard, for all your loving fans? Pass. No. <laughs> 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 This has been O, oh, Legends of Raspia. I am Han Blackheart. This is Rico Tahi. This is Rook. Check him out on in the comments places. This is Xanthi Blackheart. Quote, pass. And we have enjoyed our time. We appreciate your listeners slash viewership. And we will see you next time on O, oh, Legends of Raspia. Does it hurt in my hand? Guys, I think I broke my stuff. And with that, we close the first chapter of Faubert Dangoder's Tales in Keltaria. Oh, Legends of Raspia is brought to you by Bard Fox. Olor and the game Legends of Raspia is created and produced by Han Blackheart and Rick Tahi. Phobo Dango Dare is played by Rick Tahi. Zan Hazard Hawthorne is played by Xanthi Blackheart. Squeak the Adult is played by Rook. Story, music, and game moderation by Han Blackheart. Video and audio editing by Rick Tahi. Visual art created by Xanthi Blackheart. Check out Bard Fox's Instagram, SoundCloud, and BardFox.com for more Raspian content such as music, goofs, and pictures of our beautiful faces. The whole Bard Fox team, which they have unofficially told me that I can unofficially speak for, would like to thank you for listening to Olor. We'll be back with Season 2 to continue stories from Keltaria once we reach 100 subscribers on the Bard Fox YouTube channel. Be sure to check that out. Thank you once again, and as always, good luck back there on Earth. <laughs>